My name is Adam Gabrion and I'm working on simple topics about architecture and urbanism for everyone. And I'm with Andrew Tuck, who is doing this internationally much better than I do in Czech Republic. So uh, it's a pleasure to, to meet you and to talk to you. Hello and welcome to a special edition of The Urbanist with me, Andrew Tuck, coming to you from Prague on today's episode. This week we bring you part one of our special reporting from Resite. You do a lot under the title which is called Better Living. What is it? Uh, how can I understand that? Better living is something that we should all share in. And it's not all about, you know, big monumental buildings, it's about the small decisions we make every day to fix our cities, to make them better places to be. There's a lot of uh, rankings about cities. Do you believe in that or do you consider it important? Well, I believe in it because we do it. And I think that it's a good discussion point. It's good to do these rankings, it makes people think. And I think also that it makes people think what they could do to improve in the short term as well. Do you think everyone can do something like where they live? I can't claim that everyone can do something, but I think again, we come back to this idea that you need an institution, you need a charity, you need a group of people to make change. And often it is the intervention of a single person who says, do you know what? I don't like it anymore. I'm going to do something about it. It's the person who walks along the edge of the river and sees too much rubbish and says, I'm going to start picking it up. And then the next time he goes, someone else joins him. And you have this, this snowballing effect. And then suddenly, once one thing happens, it's often the catalyst for greater change. If you put down a park bench, suddenly you have somewhere for people who are tired and old or have kids to stop and pause. We get so used to the pace of our cities getting faster and faster and faster, suddenly you have something that makes people feel relaxed. And as we move to ever denser cities, it's these tiny decisions, these, these tiny interventions into how we design the urban landscape that begin to change how we feel about our cities. The opportunity here seems to be amazing. The, the, the built environment is incredible. You know, many cities that were uh, on the other side of the Iron Curtain were badly scarred and destroyed during that period. You still have amazing building stock. Even some of the modern interventions during that period are pretty incredible. I think that when you look at the green space, it exists. When you look at a very special thing, serendipity, the idea that we don't always walk in a straight line, Prague intrigues, you, you feel engaged with the environment. Uh, you didn't get rid of your tram system as they did in many Western countries. So amazing to see you have a, a really good network already for getting around the city. And for now you have a compactness as well that means it feels like it's a very mixed up city. You see people of all walks of life wherever you go. So first impressions very impressed. I'm sure there are many problems as in every other city, how you come together and how you embrace other people. But I, as a, a city, I've been very impressed. Thank you very much for being here and, and to talk to me. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, you no, 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 you finished. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs>